What is going on guys? My name is Slaxers and I'm bringing you guys another Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire RU Wi-Fi battle. Today is against PokeMMD again. Um, he was looking for another battle on uh, Twitter and um, I was genning at the time and no one really responded. And then um, he posted again and I figured I might as well do it since I already have a team built. So yeah, this is our RU battle. This is our second battle. Um, the first one is already on the channel I posted today before yesterday. Um, well, at the time I'm recording this. But <laughs> anyways... Um, remember guys, if you do enjoy this battle, please make sure to drop a like. And again, again this is PokeMND, uh, so, you know, really high expectations. But, um, as you can see, he's bringing Tangrowth, Mega Camerupt, um, Jinx, um, Sigilyph, Scrafty, and Drapion. And my team is, like, top tier, um, or it's like, it's like Sleeper RU. Basically, a lot of the threats on my team aren't really top tier in RU, but they are huge, massive threats to the meta. Um, my team is currently a huge threat to the meta. The only thing that really stops my team is actually the Drapion, and I, I don't think he knew this at the time, um, but it will... It is actually really prevalent, but uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get off this. Um, I'm going to lead off with my uh, Bronzong, because Bronzong is there to set up Stealth Rocks and uh, Gyro Ball and stuff like that. But also, the quality should look a little better. I did take off some stuff and messed with it a little bit, so it should look a little better. But anyways, I am going to lead off with Liberty Bell, and I figured I can take at least one knockoff, right? I can take one. I can take one. I can't take one. I can't take one knockoff. I knew this thing would be a threat. I knew this thing was going to be a threat to my team. Um, but he is going to go ahead and kill off my Bronzong doing nothing. Basically just coming in. As I'm going to go ahead and switch into Fly here. I'm just going to predict his switch out because I know he's not going to want to take an Earthquake. I know he's going to play it a little sla uh, safe. And he knows that I'm trying to play aggressive here. I'm um, getting back some momentum. So he's going to want to switch out into his Tangrowth. As that does nothing. That U-turn does absolutely nothing. He's going to be able to get that back with Regenerator. So... Uh, now I'm just going to go into uh, my Cool Otter, which is my um, Samurott here. Uh, Samurott can go ahead and fire off an Ice Beam, and Ice Beam should be able to take him out, especially since I am Life Orbed. Um, he's actually going to go ahead and switch into his Drapion here. And um, Drapion, I was kind of predicting his switch, but at the same time, I wasn't, um, because I figured I might as well just play it safe. Nothing on his team appreciates an Ice Beam except for Jinx, and even then, it's not that big of a deal. He's actually going to go for the Poison Jab here, outspeeding me. Um, I actually thought I outsped. I don't know why I didn't do any Calyx or check anything that, but he gets the Poison, which sucks. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and fire off another Ice Beam, taking him out there. Um, we'll, we'll actually see whether or not that poison um, matters, but I am going to be able to take out his Drapion, not getting 6 owed. Um, fantastic for me, as um, Life Orb is going to start wearing me down, as well as Poison. So now I only have one more turn left, um, as he's going to go ahead and go into his Jinx here. And um, I actually go for the Hydro Pump, but it doesn't matter because Jinx is going to be able to outspeed me and take me out. I figured I might as well just sack off Samurott. I don't really need it for anything else now that his Drapion's down. And since Drapion is the biggest threat on his team, and since it is down, I am perfectly fine and now able to switch into my Delphox. And because my Delphox is Scarfed, I'm going to be able to fire off Fire Blast. But I predict a switch out here into Camerupt um, by doubling out into my Flygon, just so I can pressure that thing out with an Earthquake. And um, he's going to go into his Camerupt now. And um, I'm actually going to play it ridiculously safe here and go for the Earthquake, um, simply because I just want to get off damage on what order supposed to come in. Uh, even if he goes in Tangrowth, I don't care. I just need to get off some damage. I just need to uh, let him know um, I'm sort of baiting him to want to play it. Um, I want him to make some really risky plays. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm pressuring him to make uh, you know really risky plays. So here I'm going to go for the U-turn, doing a little chunk of damage, um, just so I can come back out into Delphox here. Uh, simply because Del Fox is able to take this thing on 1v1, and um, he actually surprises me and goes for the Ancient Power, and this does a hell of a lot of damage, um, but thankfully I do survive it, and he actually puts me within Blaze range, I'm pretty sure that's, that's Blaze, I'm not 100% sure, I think I might need to be in the red for Blaze, but it doesn't matter, as he's going to go and go to his camera up here, I just fired off a Fire Blast, and thankfully I hit every single Fire Blast I went for in this battle, which was very, very lucky for me, um, but sort of relying on Fire Blast hits is a little bad on both then and so defending myself a little bit but anyways um that's going to be an easy two hit KO as long as he doesn't evolve but i'm going to actually um switch out here because he's going to more than definitely mega evolve and um gain that extra bulk and uh, be able to swallow another fire blast so um, i'm going to go and switch out here into my flygon since flygon is relatively safe of a switch as he's going to go for the uh, the ancient power does absolutely nothing to my flygon especially since i am a careful nature i'm going to be eating that up i am a defensive nature actually so uh here i know he's going to switch out um, I, I kind of want to play it safe, but at the same time I don't, as he's actually just going to go into a Sigilyph. I'm going to go for the U-turn here, predicting a switch, as, um, Sigilyph takes a little chunk, it's not a huge deal, as uh, that does a pretty good chunk, and that puts him in range, uh, 100% to 
get taken out by a fire blast. And um, because I am scarfed, I am to be able to outspeed him and go for the fire blast. I'm guessing he was baiting for a miss, as uh, my fire blast is going to be able to take out that sigil. If I'm, uh, I'm thinking he was kind of underestimating Delphox or baiting for a, a, a miss or something. Um, but I'm just going to stay in here as he goes into his jinx. Um, like I said, I am scarfed, so I'm just going to go for another fire blast. Luckily, I do hit, and I am able to oko this jinx as well, since Delphox does have an amazing special attack stat for RU and is able to take out that jinx. So right now, I'm looking. I'm in a very, very good position um, simply because he doesn't have anything for my Delphox except for this camera. As I'm going to go for another Fire Blast, basically to sack this thing off. Um, I also knew he'd want to set up rocks um, simply because I can't survive uh, coming back into rocks. As he does go for the Stealth Rocks, um, Stealth Rocks there. Um, sort of coming into play there as I'm going to go for a Fire Blast again, taking out this Camerupt. Very, very good for me. Camerupt is going to go down. And uh, Delphox has gotten like five of my kills. <laughs> um, as all he has left now is Scrafty and his um, Tang Growth. So here I'm actually going to switch out. Um, I sh probably should have stayed in and Fire Blasted, but to be 100 honest, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so I'm just going to go into uh, my Togetic because Togetic is um, 252 defensive and uh, bold with HP and Evil Light. So this thing should be able to handle this thing 1v1 as he gets up setting up a DD. And this DD was very, very risky um, for me because if he is able to take me out with two poison jabs uh, and my Dazzling Gleam can't take him out, I am screwed as um, that doesn't take me out. It's, it's a roll whether or not it's a two-hit KO. I go for the Dazzling Gleam and I'm able to take him out. Um, I do get a crit because of Super Luck. Um, Super Luck does uh, increase the uh, chance of a crit. So there I happen to get really lucky. As he's going to go ahead and switch into his Tang Growth here. And um, I'm actually just going to really just sack off my... Uh, I'm, I really just want to sack off my, um, my Togetic. I could have stalled this thing out to be 100% honest, but I didn't really want to. Um, at this point, I'm like, you know what, it's whatever. I'm just going to T-Wave you. So that way, my um, my Verizion can handle you 1v1. And um, actually, I could also get a switch into my um, my Flygon and Defog. So that way, my Delphox could get a free switch in and Fire Blast. So eventually, it would have came down to maybe a 2 um, or a 3-0. But the score at the end of the battle was 4 one, he ended up forfeiting. Um, so GG Joey, that battle went a lot better than our previous ones. I made a lot better plays. I played a lot more uh, risky. I played a lot more less. I, I played less conservatively. And um, the last battle, I played a lot more conservatively just because I didn't want to get swept. So um, again, GG Joey, um, thank you very much for the battle. Remember, guys, if you do want to battle me, uh, please follow me on Twitter, and I will definitely battle you. Just hit me up. And without further ado, guys, my name is Slacks here. So I hope you guys did enjoy this. And without further ado, guys, stay sexy, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.